The first lecture of the course English Phraseology is devoted to introduction to phraseology. We also consider mm, the point about the history of the development of phraseology and formation of phraseology as a science. Uh, we should say that in the past 20 years there has been a growing interest in phraseology, in what was traditionally known as idioms in American and British traditions, but uh, what is also called as phraseological units or phrasemes or phrasal rexemes. Uh, it uh, was also called as fixed expressions. All those units are studied in a variety of disciplines of theoretical and applied linguistics such as lexicology, lexicography, uh, discourse analysis, first and second language acquisition, foreign language teaching, cognitive linguistics. Cognitive, it means mental, uh, connected with our mental operations, psycholinguistics, social linguistics, semantics, rhetoric and stylistics. This uh, expansion reflects a near awareness that phraseology is pervasive in speech and writing and that it plays an important role in first and second language acquisition and speech production. Uh, phraseology has been relatively neglected, uh, rejected by lexical studies and semantics and it is only in the past decade that the spectrum of perspectives broadened to include different aspects of the phenomena thus shaping the new and more widely acknowledged discipline uh, phraseology why it happened so uh, we have several reasons to it the first it is the tendency in modern linguistics to study language as mental phenomena connected with our mental uh, operations, activities, and the tendency to work into disciplinary studies. So, um, language units um, now studied uh, from the point of view of different uh, disciplines, different studies. In the logical approach to language, phraseological units were treated as exceptions to the rule, a special list of lexically fossilized phrases with a specific meanings that language, units uh, language users consulted only if they couldn't interpret the expression literally. And another recent tendency is to study language in use and not in its ideal state, which means that spoken discourse, discourse it's a text, as well as formerly neglected registers and variants became one of the central objects of linguistic research. So it means uh, that phraseology can be defined as the study of structure, meaning and use of phraseological units. Uh, we also should say that phraseology has only recently been recognized in the field of study in American tradition, but it has strong roots in the European, particularly Russian and East European linguistic traditions. The growing interest in the field in Europe, marked by several symposia on phraseology, resulted in the foundation of the European Society of Phraseology, it is called Eurofras, with its seeds in Zurich, founded in 1999. You see that in Europe, only in 1999 was founded this, uh, this society. Next, the main difference between the orientation of the European and American researchers is twofold. Unlike American phraseology, European phraseology focuses on a variety of languages, thus enabling a more universal and contrastive approach. But American tradition is generally more in line with the cognitive, cognitive means mental and psycholinguistic approach. Next, current phraseological research incorporates four major approaches. What are they? The first approach is classical approach. Uh, relying on the Russian tradition, uh, seeking to establish a systematic framework of descriptive categories. 
Uh, the second approach is more culturally oriented approach, including the anthropological and cultural dimensions. So, uh, phraseological units are studied from the point of view of uh, culture. The third is cognitive approach, uh, connected with our mental operations, mental activities. And uh, the last one is more applied strength, corpus research, lexicography, foreign language learning and teaching. Then, the history of the development of phraseology and the formation of it as a science. Phraseology is an approach to language which developed in the 20th century. It is relatively new and it took its starts when Charles Bailey's notion of locutions phraseologics entered Russian lexicology. Uh, Charles Bailey is a French scientist, researcher, and um, only in 1913s, 1914s, um, this notion was subsequently developed in the former Soviet Union and other Eastern European countries. And from the late 1960s, and it established itself in German linguistics, but was also sporadically approached in English linguistics. The earliest English adaptations of phraseology were, ma were made by Weinrich in 1969, uh, also by Arnold and Lipka. And in Great Britain, as well as other Western European countries, phraseology has steadily been developed over the last 20 years. The activities of the European Society of Phraseology, Eurofras, and the European Association for Lexicography, Eurolex, with their regular conventions and publications, attest the prolific European interest in phraseology. Prominent linguist Professor Polivanov first put the question about phraseologies as a linguistic discipline. He considered that phraseology will occupy firm position like phonetics, morphologies in linguistic literature in future. And uh, also we should uh, mention the works of uh, Vinogradov, uh, who promoted the appearance and uh, uh, numerous works on phraseology in different languages and such accumulation of systemized facts is one of the premises of the creation of phraseology as a linguistic discipline. Uh, as a separate branch of knowledge, lexico uh, phraseology was formed by Russian linguist in the 40s of the 20th century and um, uh, this uh, they are connected with uh, such names as uh, Vinogradov as well as si other scientists such as Telia, um, Shransky, Arnold and um, others. Um, so phraseology was widely developed in post-Soviet country uh, in foreign countries, especially European countries, and um, as the first book where the word phraseology was used is considered the book as a book by settler call, called Toche Autography uh, und Phraseology. Uh, it is in German language from the uh, 17th century and uh, namely um, from the year of 1907. So here the word phraseology was understood as a collection of synonyms in this book. Then um, Leonard Lipka in 1974 can be considered as the first Englishman who dealt with this discipline. Phraseology has been developing in all the Western European countries since then and modern European linguists have founded the European Society of Phraseology, as we have already mentioned. And uh, the definition of phraseology was given by different European scholars and it differs from, the, from author to author. For example, in a dictionary of English idioms mm, by Henderson, phraseology is defined as a very young lit linguistic discipline that deals with collocations or phraseologisms, similes, comparisons, figurative phrases, phrasal verbs, multi-word units, and uh, idioms. Mm. 
So we should finish our lecture and uh, thank you very much for your attention if you listened to me attentively.